To get your personal room activated, you will need to go to the URL provided and then select sign in. When you sign in, sign in with your NCF email and authenticate through my NCF. After this step, please email EdTech so that we can activate your account. You will automatically be assigned a home room, but you can choose to create other rooms as well. Each room will have a unique URL that you can use to invite participants. The participants can be outside of NCF. You will also be able to record your sessions for each of the rooms that you create, and the recordings can be viewable outside of NCF if you choose to do so. So I'm gonna create a second room that I'm gonna use for back students called my demo back. And I am going to require moderator approval before joining. That'll help keep the session secure. And then I'm gonna create the room. Once the room has been created, when I click on it, I can see that I have a unique URL created. Once I'm ready to start a session, I'll hit start and that'll launch the big blue button video conference. And allow my microphone, say yes to the echo test. The only person in this conference. So now you'll have the ability to record. I'm gonna go ahead and start a recording. Once you in the recording, if you recorded a session, when you click on one of your rooms, you will be able to see all of the room recordings at the bottom. You can control the visibility of the recording by selecting the visibility drop down. You can choose to make it public, public or unlisted. Unlisted will require the URL to be able to play it. As a room owner, you have the ability to manage all of the recordings for any room. If you would like to delete any recording, you're able to do that. Additionally, you are able to rename the room and change its visibility from public to unlisted. If you are using the room recording URL to play the video, the user and the owner has the ability to download the video by right clicking and going to save video as. If you do not want the video to be downloadable, you may want to save the video and share it by a different means. For example, you could save the video to your Google Drive and then open up Google Slides and insert the video. Then you can publish your slides This will allow you to share your published slides so that viewers can view the video without being able to download the video. Please reach out to ETS if you have any questions or need assistance with downloading and sharing your video.